Hi everyone, welcome to the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen. Well, I hope you're sitting all lovely and comfy because we're going to decorate a cake for you tonight. So just to let you know that I have Simon and Karen in the kitchen, my little trio, well, we're like a little trio of friends here, aren't yeah. we? Good evening, everyone. Good evening. <laughs> so Simon's ever so excited. You should have seen all the parcels that arrived for him today. Very conveniently delivered while he wasn't here. So Muggins here, had to carry things up the stairs. Um, I think they're, they're, they're for you. Uh, they were for you, I think, because we're having a whole new camera equipment. So hopefully our whole experience is going to look so much better. Hey, Simon. Comments? Uh, it's computer computer <laughs> equipment, Carol. It's not cameras. I know, but it's our streaming and we're going to have new cameras to it, aren't we? Uh, eventually, so, yes. Yes, we are. So, um, so we're going on to a new platform and uh, hopefully the streaming is going to be better. It should and sound better yes, anyway. definitely. And uh, Simon's got it all lovely and techy. Look, it looks ever so professional. Well, when he does it, anyhow. It will do. Yeah, yes, absolutely. So that's Simon, anyhow. Good out carrying all the parcels up upstairs. I had to lug them up. And then Karen is down that end at the moment. She's just covering the board for me. And then she'll be up here doing comments. So we've got her a little seat here. And then what I thought I would do tonight is um, I wanted to show you some new, uh, not some new things, I wanted to show you the larger nifty nozzles because we don't play with the large nifty nozzles very much. Let me just see. And then we're going to pop in a few little minis. And there's the large ones. So we have the mini, the large, and the extra large. And we don't really play with the extra large very much, and I really think we should, because they're actually really pretty, especially on big cakes. They're great on cupcakes as well. And um, when I did them for, on cake flicks a couple of weeks ago, you all absolutely loved them. So I thought, you know what, let's give them a go again. So let's make some delicious buttercream. But while we're making buttercream, I thought I'd make buttercream and the Swiss meringue buttercream. Now, we've been, we're flavoured icing sugars and we've been selling this product for nearly eight years now. Can you believe it? Sugar and crumbs will be eight years old in October. And during that time, we've learned a lot about how, what we can do with sugar. So one of the things that we do make and everybody loves, and I think we've got about 56 flavours overall during, during the seasons, is the flavoured buttercream. So how do we make flavoured buttercream? Well, it's really very, very simple. Oh, just before you go, Karen, can I have some water as well for the Swiss meringue? One, three, one, uh, two, two, one, three, five, I should say. Yeah, yeah one, three, five. Right, so, um, so what we'll do is we'll make some Swiss, uh, some normal buttercream first. So what I do is, I don't know, Karen, is this camera okay on the camera there? On the ca is this machine okay on the camera there, Simon? Yes. Yeah. Great, okay, just one second. So what I do is, I'll just lift this up. Okay, if you can see in this bowl, can you see in that okay? Yeah. Okay, if you see in this bowl, this is whipped butter, okay? There's nothing added in here at all yet. Uh, it's just whipped butter and it's whipped and it's lovely, light and fluffy. Um, let me just get the palette spatula out. Of and it, you can see how lovely and soft it is. I don't know, can we still catch okay on the camera there, Simon? Just don't want to go out of focus, or have I just gone out of focus? No, you just no. perfect, it's okay. fine, yeah. So I've just got it all over my hands because I hit, hit the paddle. And then I beat it with a paddle bit at beater. I don't beat it with a whisk, because if you beat it with a whisk, it actually creates too many holes. So I like to get it lovely and white, so that's beaten all the yellow colour out. And uh, what we actually use is, if you ask what butter we use, we use a value butter. So we'll go over to this camera. So um, we just use a value butter, okay, from the supermarket, any supermarket, but it must be butter. I don't mind whether you use salted butter, unsalted butter, lightly salted, it's entirely up to you. If you find buttercream is too sweet, then you're always best going for the salted option because salted will take the, the sweetness away. And if you haven't got salt, salt, you know, just a little pinch in the butter and that will help get rid of the sweetness, okay? Because some people say, well, it's really sweet. And I think, well, there's a lot of sugar in there. But if you want to take that sweetness away, that's what you can do. So I've beaten this till it's really lovely, light and fluffy. And you can see it's just dropping off. So um, I've not added any white color in at all. And what we're going to do is we're using lemon drizzle today. Now I've been, I've weighed it out from the big kilo bags because we do it in fact, we do it in 500 gram bags. 2.5 kilos in the five kilo bags, which these are excellent value. We don't do all the flavors in the big bags, we just do the top selling ones. So I've weighed out 200 and, uh, 500 grams, sorry. So 250 grams of butter, 500 grams of flavored icing sugar, and this is lemon drizzle. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop it in here, 
Now, over the weekend, I saw somebody, they get the, their icing sugar all over. And I, I spend half my life telling people, chop it up, chop it into the bowl. And it really does make sense. Now, I know there's lots of you don't, and it, you know, and you think it doesn't matter. And it doesn't matter, really. It's really up to you. But to stop that icing cloud, if you just chop it in, it really does help. I mean, I've got a KitchenAid and it does have a cover, but it's not the best cover in the world. Um, you can also put a damp tea towel over if you want to. And um, we had a lady up who sold those fantastic covers for machines. Um, you could use that, but I've only got one of them. So um, if I had about five of them for all the different machines I've got in, it would be great. But you know what? We can just chop it in like this. So I think you can still see this on the camera. So I keep hitting the beta there. So you can see that there. So just chop it in, it takes what, a couple of seconds really? Chop it all in. There we go, scrape it off your spatula. Make sure everything's in. Now Simon's been watching us do this for a lot, for a while now. How long have you been here, Simon? Since March, is it? April? You've been working yeah. with us for seven years. Yeah, I'm just, think, I'm just trying to think. It's because it's confusing because you've worked for us for seven years now, haven't you? Well, you've been with us since the start of Sugar and Crumbs, haven't you? And then, well, I've been uh, doing this all of lockdown. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're, gone here. We're, we're, we're your only mates, aren't we? <laughs> so, um, so once you've done that, okay, um, chopped in, and now you don't need to worry about an icing cloud. So um, anyhow, Simon's been watching very carefully. And then all we're going to do is we're going to turn it on nice and slow, just get it incorporated. I have. There you go. I think if, if you're doing this in your own kitchen, you don't want a cloud going everywhere, no, do you? No. If you're doing but it in somebody else's kitchen, and you know, you, you know you've got somebody else, <laughs> it doesn't matter, does no. it? So I just turn it on nice and slow, okay? And then, once I've got it incorporated in the bowl, I turn it on for 30 seconds, full speed. cream as easy as that now in the winter months if your kitchen is really very very cold then you may need to add um, a dash of water and that can be a tablespoon of water you can add that at, at time just to loosen it up and um, you've seen me here just plug it in because that's what I usually do and sometimes I can make a mess of that you know and uh, when I'm doing it just by myself it's fine but I really shouldn't do it live you know because I can I can mess it up and I can create blobs I can create the most amazing blobs actually so um, so just to, just to put in a tablespoon at a time and it will be easy then. Um, you can add condensed milk, again, tablespoon at a time, and you can add fresh cream. If you add water in condensed milk, because condensed milk is a preservative, your butter cream will last as long as the date on the butter. And you've also got to remember, best before dates, best before dates do not go out a date the day that the best before date appears. Best before dates is what manufacturers give to products that they know is at their premium date. After that, you just gotta test it. But all best before dates also have an extra six months on it as well, just to cover them. So if you get anything near the best before date, always bear in mind it does have an automatic six months extra on the life. And uh, ours, our, all our products, like we've been doing seven years now, so we've been tested and all our products, all our flavoured icing sugars are tested for up to seven years because that, we've got them right back from seven years ago. And every time the auditor comes in, we have to have a little test, check that they're all right, taste all right. And yeah, that's how it is. But we don't want to put seven years life on our product, do we? Because we, otherwise you'll just keep it in the cupboard for seven years and we want you to use it. And that's what Best Before Dates is all about. It's helping you move the product along so that you buy some more. So there we go, there's our perfect buttercream. And because we beat the living daylights out of the butter, look how lovely and white it is. So Karen sat down now, and she's just getting um, on the live. Are you Karen? I'm just trying to find it, I am, I am. So she's just trying to find it, and then you hear her lovely voice and smile <laughs> and giggle. She has a great giggle, doesn't she? Okay, so that's that one. I'm gonna use that. So I'm just gonna put that buttercream to one side. So we've got loads of buttercream in the kitchen today because we've got a big cake to cover. So I'm just going to put that in over there for the moment. That can go there. Got buttercream there. Let me get rid of this mixer. So I'll get this one because I've got another mixer to bring in. So 
then we brought out another product called um, Whipping It Up. Now Whipping It Up is actually a multi-use product. Um, we've got it there in the background there, but we're just going to redo our new batch with new labels. And uh, we're always trying and experimenting things with it. And uh, I've just been playing now to see if I can make coconut macaroons. So uh, Karen and I have been tasting these and they taste jolly good. But afterwards, I'm going to dip them in dark chocolate afterwards and pop them in That's the freezer. Tastes even better. Tastes even better than <laughs> So they're macaroons, not macarons, macaroons. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the difference. So whether you're all asking, I used to do that. I used to say, I want a macaroon. And I didn't mean these, I actually meant a macaron. So I get corrected all the time. But these are uh, coconut macarons. Uh, macaroons. macaroons. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's very confusing. All for the sake of one oh. <laughs> so there you go. So that's that. So then we brought up this multi product, okay which is this one um, we do have new labeling for it now and this makes uh, swiss meringue buttercream biscuits um, it makes uh, royal icing mousse uh, fluff shortbread uh, what else can we do pavlovas meringues with it in fact anything that's meringue based it's absolutely brilliant for so we brought this out we brought it out of six flavors and we're actually going to do a new flavor every month and we're going to kick off this month it's going to be a uh, I think they're producing it this weekend and uh, all the all the flavors will be back in stock i know we're definitely out of stock of vanilla we're very low on a lot of other flavors um, but we're going to produce coconut for this Yay! month which is what karen karen wanted and she won because all you lot voted for it so anyway we've been we've been doing it a certain way so i've been showing you how to whip it up into a meringue and then to add butter then to add butter but funny enough, Simon the other week, because we made buttercream, so Simon Clever Clogs, didn't you Simon? So he <laughs> said, why don't we whip the butter? Because we was putting chunks of butter in. So he said, why don't you just whip the butter up? Okay, so we've been whipping the butter up and we quite like that idea. And then I think it was about two weeks ago, was it Simon? Or was it two weeks ago, three weeks ago? So why don't you put it all in together? And it was on a live. And I actually went, no, that no. won't work. We both, we both also went, no, no that won't work. <laughs> <laughs> Work. We, gave him, <laughs> we, we gave him the look. Yeah. <laughs> what do you know? <laughs> yeah, that was that type of look. Yeah, we definitely got that type of look. So anyhow, so I'm whipping up the butter over the weekend and uh, got myself in a little bit of a tizzy and ended up, and Karen did exactly the same thing today, I making did. something else. Yeah. She, what was you making that you put 500 grams in? Should have only put 250 in. I, I just thought I was making buttercream and I just tipped it. Yeah, I tipped the whole bag in. And um, so basically, with this one, we've been telling you to whip it up into a meringue and then um, add, so it's add this, add the water, whip it up into a meringue, and then when you get it to a really stiff peak, you then start adding butter. So what we've done is we beat the butter. So I'm just going to weigh this out, 250 grams. Now these are big bags, they're 500 gram bags. That means you get two batches out of this Swiss meringue buttercream. Yes, Jane, it was the cold stare we gave him. <laughs> did she see it? No, Jane just said it was the cold stare. Yes, yeah. yeah, the cold stare. We did stare. look at him as though he'd gone down. <laughs> <laughs> He's quite clever outside, isn't he? Really? Well, it, was, well, it was on the line, wasn't it? It was, it was on the line, line yeah. it was, yeah. yeah. I didn't, it wasn't that long ago, we'll have to find it. I know. But, um, but we did look at him as though, what? But he, he just thought, well, why would it make any difference? And we just thought, he doesn't know what he's talking about. But anyhow proved us wrong he does <laughs> so what we've got is we've got the beater off we've whipped, the bit, we've, whipped, we've whipped the butter okay and now this is where the difference is so this is exactly the same as the flavored icing sugar so we're going to we beat this till it's lovely and light then we're going to add the mix, whipping it up mix and you're all going to love this now. Got a super there's no, today. There's no curdling. Have we? Here we yeah. got. 386 oh, people. Fantastic. Nick's back, Geraldine's brother. Hi, oh, Nick. Hi, Nick. <laughs> Simon feels as though he's got a friend in the house. He's not the only man. <laughs> oh, Nick. Hey. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, Jackie so. says she's made black cherry meringues today. They're simply amazing. They are gorgeous, aren't they? So, um, anyhow, and it's lovely that this is all flavoured as well. And the fact, you can shut that, Karen. My dogs are going mad. Is it raining out there, by the way? It's Right. Yeah. Um, you might have to, is the dog beds out there? house. Yeah, would you mind? <laughs> so that's the end of Karen. She's going putting the dogs away. So all we're going to do now is exactly the same as we did for the buttercream. 
we're going to chop it in. You don't want a mess, do you? So just chop it all in. That's simple. So this is the um, new whipping it up mix. And we're going to make the Swiss meringue buttercream. So all we're going to do is chop it all in. So it's all lovely. Like that. And we have to give Simon the credit for this. Boo! <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. But you're going to love this, girls. And it seems because the other, it seems like the other one was really badly affected yeah. by the, the humidity and temperature. And the other thing it? is yeah. after after last week's with humidity and um, after last week's humidity and everything else, it was driving me mad because we had three batches that just wouldn't work. But they did afterwards. And when you saw my live on Thursday night, I think it was in on Thursday night, I actually took some Swiss meringue buttercream out of the fridge and I actually just coloured it. And really what I should have done is I should have, once it got to room temperature, I should have re-beaten it as well. So let's turn the mixer on. So you've not put the water in yet? No, we don't put the water in. So we now have 135 mils of water. We're going to turn the mixer on, incorporate this, and we're going to start adding the water. And this is just warm, tepid water. And we're just going to keep adding it. So if any of you have got this whipping it up mix, you're going to love this. Keep adding it. Turn the mixer up. And a bit more. A bit more. Till it's all in. Getting little splodges of it everywhere. There we go. in a minute it'll start coming away from the sides and you'll have perfect Swiss man buttercream so no more worry about whether it's going to curdle or whether it's going to go funny or whether you're going to have to let it cool down and come back again and here we go here it is can you see that on the machine can you yeah yep. there you go there it is just one second how simple is that so we have to say thank you to simon well done Take that out. So if you want easy, easy Swiss meringue buttercream, then that's all you need to do. So sometimes we do need to listen to our men, don't we? Here we go. <laughs> There's time for everything, Carol. Yeah, we don't normally listen to them. So you just but pretend look at that. to. Eh? Just pretend Absolutely. to. Absolutely. And there you go. We're still on the overhead there, Simon. I can go to the overhead. Yeah. And there we go. Look at that. That was so much easier, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah, so much easier. So we've missed out the curdling process. We've missed out all the messing about. There we go, straight so will away. So you, will you be listening to me again in yeah, future? Yeah, I do, Simon. You know what? You've come up with a few handy tips you have eh, over, over the last few times. We do look at them and like, what? But the nice thing is, is that Simon is actually paying attention. Am I on the front camera? Yeah. Uh, yes, you are, yeah. yeah. So yeah. the nice thing is, is that he is reading comments, he is paying attention and he is acknowledging uh, what's going on. And I have to be really grateful because it's so simple. Couldn't have thought of anything better myself. How easy is that? And you lot are going to love it. So I've actually updated the website. A lot of, a lot of praise. Oh yeah, Coming what for you? For me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have to give it him. <laughs> I have to give it him. And some of you are watching, I can't remember, I'm sure it was a morning live. And... Um, well, anyhow, I don't know whenever it was, but you'll hear him say it. But um, I have to give it in, but well done to Simon, because we've been faffing around with this. And uh, like I, I say, it oh, does work. No faffing. faffing. No faffing. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, thanks, Simon. Uh, thanks, Simon. Thanks, Karen. Your dog's chip is naughty. Wow, well, what's he just yes. done? Well, everyone's bringing the beds in. Yeah. And then I did a head count, and there's a dog missing. Yeah. It's chip. Oh, he gets past everything, doesn't he? He's gone into the backyard without me realising. He's gone... Through the um, underneath the bushes and he's terrorising next door's dog and under oh, yeah. the bushes. Going, he does. Oh, no, don't worry about that. You just leave them. I've got six dogs. They're great fun. Uh, they're all old now, unfortunately. So anyhow, but they love Simon's idea, Karen. He's getting Brilliant. loads of praise. And we should praise, listen to yes. him. Well, watch it. Oh, that's why I've to open two doors now to get back <laughs> in. They like, they, they like no faffing. <laughs> You know what? Much easier, absolutely. Yeah, and Karen tried it today. She couldn't believe how, how easy it worked. Absolutely great. And um, anyhow, so what I've done on the recipe website there, where you go to the Swiss meringue buttercream, 
I have actually put version one and version two. And I put this as version one because it's the easiest. I put version two, but I don't think anybody's ever going to use version two again. Oh, um, yeah. Can you confirm they, uh, they do actually work and feel the same? Yeah, they do it, work exactly the same. Absolutely. Yeah. The, so the texture the, you're, you're, is exactly the, the same. Yeah. Just, so you've had your finger in it, have you, Carol? No. We've had the paddle knife. knife in it. <laughs> yeah. So we've had the paddle knife in it. So let me just tell you a few tips about this as well, um, because there's a few things that you do need to know about this. Do not throw any away, okay? Don't throw any of it away. So what you what you use for your cake afterwards, put it into an air airtight container, put it in the fridge, okay? Now, when we bring the buttercream out of the fridge, we just bring it back to room temperature and you can put it in the microwave and melt it a little bit if you want to and just soften it up and use it again. This, you can actually put it in the microwave, just again for a few minutes, just soften it up, but not long, okay? Minutes. Not minutes, sorry, seconds. Sorry, get that back. Seconds. Okay. <laughs> so either of them, you do 10 second bursts. That's all that you do. Not, not five yeah, minutes. Not minutes. No, sorry. Crikey. Um, and then you bring it back to room temperature. And then, but with the buttercream, you can actually start using, you can just paddle it all in, get it working. With this, you do need to put it back on the mixer and you do need to whisk it up. So if you watch Thursday's live, when, I, uh, when we had that bit of a meltdown because it was melting and it wouldn't pull together, um, I then coloured some of it and when I coloured some of it it was actually sort of gone crumbly and um, and that's because I pulled it together but if anyone has seen my uh, new uh, buttercream flowers class if you're in my buttercream flowers class I actually made the red from it so you ladies are in that class and you saw me do we well, didn't see me do the David Austin rose but the David Austin rose that you see there and all the other cupcakes that I showed you was all made with that mix because basically I just put it all together mixed it and then I made it a deep red and then I made a pale pink and then I just lightened it all up. What's been through this class? Yeah. You haven't done one. I know I know but I put pictures in the, in the oh, group. Oh right. Yes yeah, so in the group in the class group I put pictures in and that was all made with that stuff oh, all okay. because I just right. beat it back up again and those of you who are not in the buttercream flowers class sorry, sorry. <laughs> you'll, have to see you'll have to join to find out <laughs> yeah. oh, I've not joined yet <laughs> no I've joined you Simon all right. you've, been, you've been joined been Simon I've seen your name in there love you've been joined <laughs> okay. right so let's get on with decorating our cake then so we are going to be bagging up nozzles and I'm going to get Karen, to, I'll put the cake together quickly and then I'm going to get Karen to crumb coat it. So Karen can read out a few comments. So what should we go for? So Karen made, has made quite a few cakes. So um, she's now got her own slots. How cool is that? Well done, Karen. So Mondays and Fridays is Karen's slots. So if ever you want to watch, do watch on a Monday and Friday. I think we'll go with the white Victoria sponge. So uh, you made this on Friday, didn't you, I Karen? Did. yes. So all we've done is we've not froze it because there's no need to freeze it because we knew we were going to use it. So we're going to just pop that on the centre of there. And then we're going to, you like me to put the buttercream on, don't you? And I'm so proud, uh, after my live this morning, my 12-year-old niece has made a wholemeal chocolate cake. Exactly how I've done it and it looks brilliant. Yeah, she has. Right, I will use this buttercream. Mm. So... Where are these cakes going to go to, Carol? Well, I dropped them off at the police station this oh, weekend. So and um, uh, three big cakes and a load of cupcakes I dropped off. And I have to say, when I drop them off at the hospital, the old folks home, or anywhere I drop them off, everybody is extremely grateful. But I've never seen, I've never seen the police. I, th I think they were completely overwhelmed. And it was quite nice what they said, actually. They said they don't actually get, their job is not a happy job. It's all about sorting out squabbles, fights, arguments, hassle, you know, and they get blamed for everything when really all they're trying to do is keep the peace and uh, they never get anything nice. So they were, I felt, I felt, I thought they were, they were really, I think they were really overwhelmed. They just couldn't believe it. And the fact that I took so many in and they were, they were just well chuffed. That's all I can say. All I saw when you put the photograph on, all I could see was the smiling faces and yeah. they looked really happy. Absolutely. They couldn't believe it. Michelle's saying, what class? She's not aware of the... the, the Michelle who? Michelle Quinn. Quinn. Oh, right. So, we have a new class, Michelle Quinn, and it's called Carol's Buttercream Flowers. And in there, you're going to learn 30 plus flowers. I've just put 20 on for the moment, because you'll learn two in some weeks. But you'll learn 30, you'll learn 30 flowers, and it'll be the same as all the other classes that we do. Um, and you can join any time. 
And if you learn 30 flowers, it works out about £2.50 a flower. And then at the end, um, and it doesn't matter if you join now, you join in a few weeks, because you can watch everything, and then I'll just go on and repeat it all again. Um, but we're going to concentrate on one flower in that class, and in that class we'll do a bud, we'll do a, a medium flower, we'll do a big flower, and then we'll do an arrangement. So it's always on 12 cupcakes every week that we'll do that. So, let's do this one. Cat, uh, Samantha's asking Carol, how long could we store cakes in the Ziploc bags? In the Ziploc bags? In the fridge, I would reckon. I would say a week at least. I would, I would, I would, yeah, I would say, definitely say definitely a week. Definitely a week or, or a bit longer, yeah, absolutely. Cupcakes? Or no, or Ziploc. The, 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 these, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. So, um, Karen made these cakes, like I say, she made the white ones a bit for the Victoria sponge ones on um, Friday, and then she made these chocolate wholemeal ones so th this morning. So if you want to watch her how she made these, and I'm actually going to use her method. Are they so, the same size? Yeah. They're all eight inch, yes. Yeah. Okay. So what I'm going to do is use her method, which is jam on top. And I have to say, I think, I have to agree with you, it's far easier. Need to change the way we do things, Karen, don't we? There's me, been putting jam on all the time. Where well, would you put the jam on? normally? I always put jam on first. And then try and, and then, then put, put the buttercream on, on top of it. Doesn't it make, make it slippy? Oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> always one, isn't there? Do you know, he's, he's had one good idea, Carol, and now he's just going to take over. Have you seen that? He's going to take over. <laughs> That's it. It does have quite a few good ideas in fairness. We do have a good laugh here in the kitchen though. Oh. We are the three amigos. I come in for some stick. There, <laughs> you do come in for some stick, yeah. Oh, Helen said her other half's a, a, a bobby and he's in, in, in Brum, down yeah. in Birmingham, and they have no treats during lockdown, although no. she makes them. Yeah, yeah. And and you know what? That's basically what the police said. They said nobody's brought them in anything. And they are frontline. They are frontline. And you know what? I really don't like it when people say they're bad, they're this bad. There's good and bad in everything. Yes. In every person, there's a good and bad. Don't matter what colour, race, where you come from in the world, we all have a bit of bad and we all have a bit of good. All of us, none of us are angels. Right, so let's get the next one out. So those chocolate ones now will go in the zip lock bags because we'll use them later on. So I'll get Karen to put those in. So we may as well put those straight yeah. in there. Save them. Yeah, that was lemon curd you put on there. Yeah, isn't because it? I'm using lemon drizzle. Um, I'm using lemon drizzle um, buttercream. And I'm going to drop this off at the police station tomorrow as well. They can have this one. I think I think they were so chuffed. Like when I went to the hospital, they said how many cakes they've had. And they just said, and to be fair, when we went to A&E, didn't we, Karen? Yes. Um, A&E, I had to force the lady to take them. She said she wanted to take all of them, but she said, look, I can't. We've got to take them to procurement. And I went, what's procurement? So she said, well, what happens is um, uh, the emergency services are getting everything and people are forgetting that there's nurses all over on every single ward. There's doctors and nurses and what procurement wants to do is actually share them out amongst every ward and not just you know, oh, one department, right, yeah. Yeah. which is fair enough. And I hadn't thought of that yeah, really yeah. until she said. And uh, so we, anyhow, she took one bouquet off us. She took a 36 off us, didn't she? she and then, it. yeah, she loved it, yeah. So she took that one and then we took them around to procurement and they couldn't believe it that we'd actually dropped them off. So I'm gonna, so we've got this here together now. And uh, Ashley Karen, I can't, yeah. I've, got, I've got to carry on with this cake myself. Oh no, I'm gonna bag up my nozzles. Oh, right, so Karen's gonna crumb coat this yeah. for me. So I'll give her that. Are we going to drop off one I made this morning as well? Yes, we will. It's a good job, we, good job we did dig into that one in its time, eh? Yeah, we got through it straight away. Yeah. <laughs> so while she does that, do you want any warm water or anything? Yes, I will go around, do that. I'll go around the other way. You're doing that off camera, Karen? I'm doing it off camera. Yes, she is. Because I'm going to get my bags ready. So we're going to use, uh, Karen will have to speed up as well because I'll need that cake back soon. But oh. anyhow, <laughs> just to put her under pressure. You need to make some whip noises. Eh? You need to make some whip noises. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we're using a selection of nozzles. So we're going to use the uh, round Wilton round 10. We're using the Wilton uh, round three. I normally use a five, but I can't find it at the moment. So we're going to use that one. 
we're going to use a, a 352 leaf tip. Carol? Yeah? Where is it? Is that the five? Is it there? Right, I will. We're going to use the extra large, um, it's called Sun Dancer. So can you see that one over the top there, Simon? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Now we have a sun dance. This is called the sun dancer cut because it's closed. Uh, we also have a sun dancer with, with it means it's got open petals. So, but this one is the cut because it's closed. So we're going to use this one, and I'm going to use this in this lovely lemon colour. And then we're going to wait for Karen to decorate the cake, and then uh, crumb coat the cake. And I only want it as a naked cake, Karen. Oh, you don't care. So we don't have to go, Matt. I'll just go and get a new bits of here. What are you laughing at? Someone asked it about taking a file in, in the cake. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's a They're real not. thing, is it? <laughs> you never know. And then we're going to use this nozzle not seen here. John for a while, is that where? John's on the night shift. <laughs> so Simon, do you want to have a look at this nozzle here? So when I cut the bags, you should cut the bags so they're near the tip. So I don't know whether you can see that very well. Can you see that very well, Simon? I put that very there? well, yes. So right near the tip. Can you see this one? I've cut it halfway. Well, what will happen is that's actually a danger point because of how big these nozzles are. When you put the buttercream in, it can actually force the nozzle out. So I'm going to actually drop this into another bag. Yeah? So that's that one. But this one is called the Marigold. Can you see that? Isn't that lovely? Yeah. So I'm going to do this in red. And then I'm just going to cut another bag for it and drop it in another bag. Get some strength. Um, Elizabeth McLean is asking about the recipe for the for these nozzles. Are you using the same? Yep, exactly recipe? the same. The buttercream that I've just made now. Now I'm not using the Swiss meringue buttercream for it. And the reason I'm not using the Swiss meringue buttercream for it, they work perfectly well with the nozzles. But to be fair, it's so warm and humid in here and I'm actually on fire that if I use that, it could actually get really very soft and gloopy. So I'd rather use the Swiss meringue buttercream for the 1M swirl and we'll do some swirls with that. So I will be using the Swiss meringue buttercream that we have there, but I'd just rather use the buttercream at the moment for the nozzles. And I just need to cut another bag for this. I don't think I've leveled that very well, have I, Karen? No. No. So what should we do? Just hang on a minute while I help Karen with this. this so, a bit of, I'm just gonna can I just lift that up there? Yeah. Go on. Just one second. We're just doing a little bit of a lift. No, you need a lot more than that. some more butter creams. There you go. Shall I just um, melt this for you? Yes, please. Sorry, she needs some more butter cream for the side of the cake. Why don't you put your knife, Karen, in the water? I, I keep, I keep trying to do it so it doesn't um, yeah, water it down too much. Yeah, no, no. Because it's not, you're not sure you're stretching it, you're dragging it. Yeah. So, sorry, we're like, we're like yeah. two old women here now going yeah, on with each other. Where do I put my nozzle? There we go. So I'm just going to drop this in here. Yeah. Let's push it back. Carol knows best. Worked. Thank you, Carol. out the way as well because they do have a little nasty habit especially if you cut a little thin strip off which you probably can't see but if you cut a little thin strip off they can end up in your nozzle so always make sure that you are binning them and getting them out of the way so we've got that one there and then we're going to use one of the little baby mini ones now these ones let me just tell you about these we've got the genuine russian ones okay which come from um 
Alexander in Russia. Now they've only just gone back to work. They're going back to work this week. So they've actually asked me now, am I, prepared, am I ready to order? And I've placed my order. But the baby nozzles I get off them are beautiful. And there are designs as well. So they're absolutely stunning them. They're more expensive because the quality of the steel is far superior. But we do have these value nozzles on that do work. Um, they're great, they're lovely, they work, but you will feel the difference and you'll be able to tell the difference if you end up with the, um, if you end up with the genuine mini ones. So um, if people do, are a bit confused because a few people said, oh, they were have all. And the different designs as well. Um, the designs of these are actually our designs, but they're, um, they're just done in a smaller nozzle. So uh, Alexander, the original Russian designer, he actually designed most of the nozzles and my daughter Laura did the rest. And um, so between them, they've got actually quite a lot of nozzle designs, even bunny rabbit. And we've got, um, we've got a swallow and uh, we've got the Christmas tree and the fern, which my daughter did. Uh, it was the chick, was it? Pardon? Yeah, we did the chick. We've done quite a few. And then that's without the flowers. And these, these flowers here is what Laura did. She designed these. So uh, quite pleased with that. So I've got that little mini one there. Right, there we go. And then what else have we got here? So now that Karen's nicked all the buttercream. You can cut it back now. Yeah, thanks. There you go. You can cut it back now. Yeah, with all that water in. <laughs> See. Right, let me just see. So I want to use this lotus one as well. So let's have a look at this one, Simon. A little bit this way, that's it. Yeah. So I'm just going to put green on the outside of this one. It's really nice for green. So just a little bit of a different design and these look lovely in pastel colours. I'll do these again in a couple of weeks with pastel colours on because they look, they look just totally different, amazing. So we're a bit, we're a bit bold with these colours. So if you're in the um, Cupcake Bouquet class for the mini nozzles, I'm giving you, um, was it in the Cupcake Bouquet class I did it? Yeah. Yes, you did. Uh, I put a post up there that if you want the mini nozzles, you can actually order them. And then tomorrow I'll put them in the main group. So you don't have to pay any money, just put your name down to say that you want them. Because um, it could take maybe up to six weeks to get in here. Because as I say, the Russians have only just gone back to work. He has to make them, source the materials, make them. They take two weeks to get in, and then they have to get through customs. So I don't want to put a time on, I don't want to take any money off anybody, any deposit or anything. Just the fact that you said you want them, when you tick the box and say, I want them, I'll be getting in touch with you as soon as they come in to say it's in. And then you can go and buy them to the website then. Right. So okay. you, wouldn't, you wouldn't normally be using two piping bags to get large nozzles. No, it's, it's just that you cut, cut one too short. Too, too short, yeah. Yeah, that's all. Right, I'll just right. Button, button um, comments what, now. Um, what was the colour of green you used? I've used uh, leaf green with a bit of forest green. And they're colour splash, are they? Yeah, they're all colour splash. Right, so we've got that there. there, there, there and Carol there. did fill the cake with lemon curd, yes. Yes. And, I did. Uh, and buttercream. Yeah. So I'm just going to lift the cake off and put it on this board a minute, and then I'm just going to put it in the fridge for a second just to crust over. So let's get the cake and do a little bit of a. No, Nick, I'm sorry you can't join our gang. You're not the fourth amigo. <laughs> There's only three amigos. Or <laughs> bit of Simon would love to kick one of us out. I'm happy to go, Simon. <laughs> so Nick wants to be the fourth amigo. Why, why am I saying I want to cook, cook, kick you out? <laughs> no, I said I'm sure you'd be happy to kick one of us out and have a bloke in with you. No. With all this Mind you, if you got a bloke, no one would be brewing up for him, would they, no, Karen? No. And we're yeah. after him. Yeah. yeah. Cleaning up after him. 
It's not daft as ours. I'm not really then. complaining. No. He <laughs> <laughs> gets well looked after, ladies. He does. I'm sure you all watch me wonder how I get a cake on a board. I'm actually amazed at myself getting a cake on a board. There we go. Because I never do it the right way. There we go. Do you want the turntable back, by the way? No, not yet. Right, I'm just going to pop this in the fridge a minute while we just get some, just give it a little bit of a crumb. Can I give it you to that fridge? I forgot that one's full. Super, well done, Karen. Right, okay then. So let's just go over what nozzles we get, we've got here and let's see if I need any more. So we're using the extra large nifty nozzles and I'll just pull them up for you. So this is the Lotus Flower and it's, it's 2118XL. Okay, so that's the Lotus Flower. And then we're using the Marigold, which is 210XL. We're also using the Sun uh, the Sun Dancer Cup, and that is 220. So those are all the really big nozzles. You see them on the camera okay, Simon? Yeah. Yep, yeah, so that's those. Then in the little mini value sets, we're using two of the nozzles out of there. Now these are the designs from our normal large, large nozzles. This is the seven petal rose and this is the May tulip. And then we're using a Wilton 10, a Wilton 3 because- Hang on, we, hang on, we didn't see them. Did we not? We're using a Wilton 10 and a Wilton no. 3 because I didn't know where my five was and Karen's just located it. And we're using a Wilton 3 5 2. So we'll use all that. And then I'm just going to get out a big camping bag and this is just so easy and easy. The way I show you to decorate with these nozzles is to make your life easy, not be stressed having like loads of issues. So it's just like making buttercream. And then we're just going to stamp some flowers on them. We're just going to make it really, really easy. Right, okay. So um, I need a big piping bag. Oh, piping bag. There we go. Here's that one. Now this one doesn't need a nozzle because we're just going to fill it up with uh, buttercream. And then anybody who's in my Cupcake Bouquet class, uh, don't forget we're, we're doing a white bouquet on Wednesday. So if you have joined, I've got several classes going on, okay? So we've got the Cake Illusionist in, her class is doing really very, very well. Uh, we've got Molly Robbins in. Her class is doing extremely well. She's on for the uh, doggy cupcakes and she might throw in a cat or two if you behave yourself. <laughs> and then on her next one, she's actually going to do a creature creator one. Oh, so wow. I think she's going to do a dog on legs. I think she's going to oh, do, wow. which will be amazing for you to see that one. Um, so she's going to do that one for you. But I think she's going to put it out to the votes of the class. Georgie Godbold is here next Monday. I can't believe she's here next Monday. How did it come round really? Yeah, quick? so Georgie Godbold is here in the kitchen next Monday teaching her class. And um, is it, was it Monday? It's when's like, the 30th? Well, it's next Friday, isn't it? Something, is it? No. It's no, when's the 30th? Tuesday. 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 Ah, she'll be here Monday night, I think, yes, saying hello right, to everybody. Yes. 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 And she'll be doing the preparation class. So yes. she'll be doing her class on Tuesday. And then... Um, and then I do a cupcake bouquet class every week. Mine's are every month, sorry. And mine is um, on the 15th of July when mine comes out. Um, and I think it's my fourth class, isn't it? it? Which is great. So you learn something different in every class. Um, but I also throw in some bonus classes. So like we did a little mini bouquet class. And then this week I'm actually going to do um, a white. So it's all white. Everything we do is white, apart from a few green leaves. So everything that we do in there is white. Brilliant. And is it then, all white or all right? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> right, so I just thought I'll do the little rose swirl actually. So I'll get another piping bag. So that's a bonus class. So any of you who have joined that who have joined that, um, you can feel free to join that class. Even if you haven't got all the stuff for your cupcake bouquet, just come in and do some decorating. So uh just let me get another piping bag out. Yeah, I'm looking forward to watching George do a teapot class again. Yes, yes. Are the groups, the class groups, really good? They're great fun, aren't they? They're absolutely buzzing. If any of you are in the class groups, you'll all be able to tell everybody how great they are. The uh, the activity and the laughs that go on in there. And the gifts. Yeah. <laughs> and the little videos. It's just like full of them, isn't it? It's just so funny. And um, we had one on today because I'm doing this flowers, flowers class. 
what um, one of the ladies put on there, Carol's bloomers, and it was just a video, and it's me with big big knickers, so I just uh, start laughing as soon as I saw it. Bridget Jones's diary yeah, just made me, it. just started me, it's just, I just started giggling, I was at home, I started giggling. Yeah, it's funny, isn't it? So, uh, I said to her, I said, you're all full of mischief, you lot. Yeah, but each of the groups are great. And I think a lot of you can't even cope by not being in the other groups. I think you're like, oh, I'm missing out on something. <laughs> but uh, yeah, such a good, it's such a good, good vibe. Right, okay. So I'll do this with my cream for this. Yes, Carol's pink board that she's got there is the largest one, the 110 pound one. Yes, and I've got a new one to put on actually. So we will have the mini ones. So the ones that Georgie always uses. So the one that Georgie always uses, she always uses this very small one. And um, that's the veining one, the sugar craft classes ones. So this one is just the one that Georgie uses. She just likes it. It's just nice and small. She can take it anywhere with her. So she uses that one. Then we've got a medium board which is here so we've got the medium board which Karen has her eye on as well because she says it fits her kitchen perfectly it certainly does. and then I'm just going to put on a small one now it's about like that size so there so I'm just going to put that on the website I'm just going to wait for Simon to take a picture of it <laughs> keep looking at it I know you keep looking at it right, I need a picture of it so I can get it on the website so, uh, yes, yeah, so it's in a box in my studio. Oh, we know where it is, Simon. <laughs> so, as soon as he's taken a picture of that, I'll get that on the website as well. And these pink balls are exclusive to sugar and crumbs. So, the manufacturer who makes them for me, he's being bombarded with people, other companies going, Can you make them for me? And he said, I can make them for you in any other colour, but not pink, because Carol's asked for the pink. So, uh, I do the pink, which is great. And, um, and they're non-stick boards as well. So they come with like a film on, like a grease film on, and you just keep that massaged in. And if you do get any little scrapes on it, or if you catch it, or you've washed it too much, all you need to do is just a little bit of Trex and just rub all the Trex in and just rub it in. And that's it, it all comes back beautiful. Plus you can also turn it over for the other side. So if you do want to use one side for chopping and one side for your sugar craft, you can do that as well, yeah. Good. Right, so she heard it here. I, I if you want to use one side for chopping, Karen, you, chop you can do that. No, I haven't, but you just told me I could chop on you. No, I can never chop on that one. Oh, this is my cake. <laughs> Everybody heard it. <laughs> Everyone but not my that. board. If you want to use I said one if side you want chopping. to use your board for one side chopping, <laughs> but she not say, mine. She didn't say Carol's board. Yes, not mine. Nobody can chop on mine. And this one is this morning because I used the palette knife to go through the item, but I didn't cut with the palette knife. I just went me. I went through the item with a palette knife. Who did? Me. To yeah. to, but it's only a palette knife. Yeah. And I just touched it and went, oh, you've cut the board. I went, I haven't. <laughs> I just cut with a palette knife. Uh, so how much is the small one? Uh, I don't know, actually. I don't know because well, I don't. I think she means the one I'm not photographed yet. But I, I think know. you mean the one she's not photographed yet. So, um, so that's the Swiss. That's the Swiss. So that's it. So this one here with no buttercream in. I'm just going to cut a little hole in it there. So I'm just going to cut a little hole in it. And we're just going to go around the top. And the good thing is when I decorate cakes, you don't need to um, have it all perfectly smooth. Oh, we've got Paul on. Paul who? Paul Baker Paul. Oh, yeah. And he just says he hasn't used his nifty nozzles. Maybe I should join one of your classes. Maybe you should, Actually, Paul. Actually, Paul, why are you here? Yes, you should join the classes. But, Paul, I've had several requests whether you're going to come up to the kitchen and whether you're going to um, bake your bread in our kitchen. Oh. And I've got new... Um, it's uh, the one taste awards so i've got three new flowers coming in on wednesday and um, if you message me after paul i'll send you some because i want you to test it for me but they've won the great taste awards and they're amazing flowers and you lot are going to want to try them especially when that, i'm always sure when paul shows me what he makes with it and um and I need to find that Richard Crompton as well. I'll that, send sounds, him some. that sounds right, especially somebody coming in the kitchen and actually making bread. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so my daughter, Laura, followed Ryan, my son, making the bread. 
and she makes the most amazing sourdough bread. It's absolutely delicious. And I don't know whether you saw Shelfer's post on the group today. She has been talking to her Laura daughter because she rang me and asked me. And I said, oh, I can't help you. I don't know how to make it. Ryan was at work. So I said, I'll get Laura to ring you. And then Shelfer's just followed what Laura does. And she's like, just loves it. It's amazing. Brilliant. Right, let's get on with this cake then. Right. So we've got the large nozzle, okay? So we may have to refill these up as well. So we're just going to stick it onto the cake. So Simon, do you know which camera you're on, love? I... So which one do you want to go on? So we're going to go onto the cake here. I'll go on the side yeah. one then. And we're just going to squeeze up, relax, relax the pressure. And then we're going to go squeeze up, relax, relax the pressure. That's all you've got to do. Squeeze up, relax. Squeeze up relax squeeze up relax it's all about the pressure so look how lovely they come out squeeze up relax you can do them whatever height you want just going to do that isn't that a lovely red this is the uh, christmas red by the way from color splash yeah so we'll put some other bits on afterwards then we're going to use the lotus flower exactly the same so you just go onto the cake squeeze up relax Squeeze up, relax. Squeeze up, relax. Squeeze up, relax. Squeeze up, relax. So the lovely these for big cakes. The loving your red. And they're, yeah, just the Christmas red. It's not just for Christmas. It's not just for Christmas. <laughs> so I just thought we never play with the big nozzles very often, do we? I thought, you know what, let's get these yeah, out and have a little play. Yeah, some people, when you read the post, some people are a bit daunted by them, aren't they? So. Yeah. And you've got to just use them exactly the same as you do your other nifties. And look, if you can you see on this camera here, Simon? You on this side camera? I can be, And if yeah. you just watch my fingers there, all I'm doing is just onto the cake, squeeze, up, relax. Oh, I would do it wrong now. When I do it slow, I always do yeah. it wrong. Well, we were all zoomed in nicely for that <laughs> Come on then, let's do it again. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> squeeze up, relax, there you go. So the best thing to do is not take it slow. And every time I do take it slow, there you go. Leah's asking, for an eight inch cake with three layers, how much buttercream do you recommend? Would you say about a kilo? Definitely. Definitely a kilo, yeah. Leah. A kilo yeah. total? Uh, yeah, a kilo total will be enough. Yeah. 500 grams of Oh, what's this? This is an eight-inch cake, isn't three it? Three layers, yeah. Yeah, this is three layers, yeah. So this is an eight-inch, and we've got one batch there, which you've crumb-coated with, and one batch I've used for the flour, haven't we? Yeah. So um, what else are we going to do now? So we'll use some of the Swiss meringue buttercream there. And then we're going to... You're right, Tanya, the colours are very vibrant, they're beautiful, aren't they? No, Deborah, Carol has used the extra large nifty nozzle on a cupcake. Yeah, I have. Showed, I showed them um, the, the, the on cake flicks, I did it. Mm. The Dahlia. I'm saying Dahlia now. I call it Dahlia. I know it's me. I know it's me. I did it on the cake flicks you live. Did. Was that about two or three weeks ago? It was, yes, because you, you, yeah. did, you did the daily with a couple of little yeah. bits around it. Yeah. We had two Michelle Wards in the group. Yes, now we're going to have fun, aren't we? Yeah, if he just says, no, is it only me that has a double in the group? If so, yeah. if the prize one of us gets picked, you'll have to choose both of them. <laughs> <laughs> Never thought about that. <laughs> yes, we have two Michelle Wards. You have to, look, you have to make sure you look at the pictures, you think you'll yeah. have to look at the images. <laughs> yeah, two Michelle Wards, that's going to be fun. I did tell with Michelle number two, so all you need to be careful, you've got a challenge, we've got a right one in there. <laughs> or Michelle Ward, you could get blamed for things. <laughs> Nick wants to know, are you sure you don't need a professional cake taster? As he would, as he'd come in quite gladly and do it, and he'd take the rest home with him. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, I think we've we already, go. we've got one or two, haven't we? Yeah. Me and you, absolutely. So, if you, ever, if you ever squeeze too much on, are we on that camera? So, if you ever squeeze too much on, just knock it off. And all I did was, is that, because I wasn't touching the cake, so... Squeeze up, relax. I'm just going to do another one there. Squeeze up, 
relax. And then I've got the baby nozzles. So let's get the babies out. So when we do the white cupcake bouquet on um, Wednesday, that'll be going into the units into the cupcake bouquet. Yes, it will be, so anybody can follow it as well. There you go, Samantha. It'll go into the units once we've done it. Yeah, I just thought we'd just we do make, something. Are we just making doing cakes, or are we actually doing a, a bouquet? We're just doing cupcakes. Just cupcakes. Right. Yeah. Yeah, we're not doing a bouquet. We're just doing cupcakes. Anybody who wants to put a bouquet together can do. I just thought I'd do something different in that group because uh, they've got a long wait, wait before I'm back in there. <laughs> so I thought I thought they might be missing me. I think I'm missing you. They do miss you. So. Um, I'm going to chip these around here. That looks beautiful. It's plain, isn't it? And then we've got a couple of um, berries that we can do. Let's give it a little bit of a thing. So we'll just put a little, few little berries on. And berries are just little balls. And it doesn't matter if you end up with this little pointy bit. Don't worry about them because we're going to press them down in a minute. You can put a couple of berries up here if you want to. Just put them around in just odd little random spots. You can put one, two. We put still sell all these nozzles, don't we? Yeah. 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 Start. Go all in. On. Saying about the rose, have you done, have you used a rose nozzle? Or is that the, the have you used the, the one? The marigold there. Do you mean this one? You the used the mini rose one, didn't I you? I used the mini set. Yeah. I yeah. used the. I used. Is that just in the set? Yeah, that's just in the set. That's the value set. Yeah. Yeah, and the value set does have different patterns to the yeah. To there's the two, other there's two lots of value sets now. There's the thirteen one, and there's the seven one. Now, so let's just take our time. You're right, Debbie. I thought that as well. The overhead shot was gorgeous. Then it does it absolutely amazing. Yeah, it does look good. Yeah. Well, you say that was surprise, Simon. <laughs> Hey, crikey! <laughs> yeah, it does look good. Yeah. Oh, you know the confidence well, in the world. That makes a change, doesn't it? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I must admit that cake I did on what was that cake I did on Thursday? I was a bit worried about that one. Was it one we no? Was it for Saturday's cake flicks? Yes. Oh, sorry for confusing you about Saturday's cake flicks. I will get myself organised with Paul. I thought I had an eight o'clock slot, but apparently I had an um, eleven o'clock one. <laughs> so you were all looking for it. There was lots of you who saw it in the morning. And then uh, lots of you who were looking for it at 8 o'clock at night, which was really nice of you to look for it. So these little embellishments do really help. So I'll just put a few They do, more. They, they just bring it to life, don't yeah, they? Yeah, okay. So it's just worth being patient and just uh, playing with them. And this is a lovely colour, isn't it? You know, Carol, we've got 480 people watching Have us we? tonight. Oh, that's good, isn't it's it? It's really good. Well, we've still got 1,500 short from Danielle. <laughs> where are <laughs> you? Hey, where are you? Get liking and sharing. Hey, that Danielle got 1,900 last week. Freaking amazing. Come on. Mm -hmm. Right, okay. So then we need the little red bud that I did. So where's that number three? That we did so we're just going to go over the berries now we're just going to fill them in now this is just a little bit more fiddly but it's well worth the effort what i'm going to do is just squeeze into the berry So I hope now that you now know how to use both products, the whipping it up and the flavoured icing sugar. Those of you who got whipping it up are coming back with some fantastic comments. It's great to see what you're all making with it. And of course, you know, we were the first ones out there with flavoured icing sugars. 
I think we've got about 56 flavours. And if the whipping it up goes really well, we're going to do, we've got six flavours and we're going to do an additional random flavour per month, which is great. So I'm just going to take my time here a minute, guys, because you may as well wait and see this cake finished. You can ask Karen any questions. The little white rose, it is in the 13 set, that isn't it, Carol? Um, it will be in the 13 set. I can't, I think it's in the 7 set, but I can't promise because it's random. All right, random. Then. They love it, they absolutely love that. They said the colours with the, the yellow and green, is it the yellow marigold, yellow yeah. and green one, against the, the red. They said they lo absolutely love the red. Yeah, it's just that Christmas red. So it's just like it's making the cake pop. Yeah. It's colour splash Christmas red, yeah, that's beautiful. all it is. And to be fair, it doesn't go this colour straight away, okay? It, you have to wait for it. It goes sort of like a, it goes like a, a really rich pink first. And then just leave it to wait. But I'll tell you what I was watching on YouTube the other day. And I haven't tried it myself. And this isn't my idea at all. This is what I was watching on YouTube the, the other day. That they mixed it with the buttercream. And then they then melted it. So what they did is they put the buttercream in the microwave with the colour. For about 5-10 second blast. And it actually enriched the colour. So I haven't tried that but I will do. So uh they got some good tips, don't they, when you go on YouTube and things like that. Yeah, it was that. just a random yeah. one, really. I don't know. It came back out to rewind it. I think, what does she just say then? So, uh, but that, that's what she said. And she said, yeah, if you want to get your red. I haven't done it with this. But this has just matured um, over the last few days. Because this was butter cream from... When did we do... Um, we did um, sunflowers in the class, didn't we? Yes. Which class was that? July on the 13th. 13th. Yeah. Yeah, so this was June, June the 13th. June the 13th. Yeah. yeah, so from my class on the 13th, this so is the buttercream that's over. over. over yeah. Cold. Yeah. yeah, so and the buttercream's just been kept in a container in the fridge. Right, so we've got that one. That looks alright, doesn't it? Right, let's get the leaves on now. I don't know what I'm going to do around here. I'll have to think about this. So let's just put a couple of leaves on. Before we finish tonight, Carol, yeah. Leonie's having really difficulty putting the large nozzle into a piping bag. Could you show her again how to do it before yeah. we finish? Yeah. There you go, Leonie. Carol will show you again later. I'm trying to do this at a funny angle. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my normal angle, this. Right? It's to be contortionist, don't we? <laughs> well, you're a lefty, you have a yeah. right time, don't you? Yeah. Uh -huh. Poor Karen, now we've got her on this camera, then we have a juggle around, then she has to be on the other camera. I'm on a camera that I've never used to. So. And then with, you, with your leaves, it's really very easy. It's squeeze, stop, pull. Squeeze, stop, pull. Squeeze, stop, pull. Squeeze, stop, pull. Always wipe your tips as well, keep them clean. So squeeze, stop, pull. And then we can do, we go to the overhead. Put a couple in the overhead there. You moved the cake. Have I? <laughs> Sorry, I've moved the cake. <laughs> I think it's I was moving. It's a question actually, Carol, but you know. Eh? It was just a question. I don't know, I don't know what I do, do I? I don't actually take any notice of what I do. I leave you to worry about where I could possibly be. <laughs> That's your job. When you go straight out of you, we'll be shouting. <laughs> Come back. <laughs> so anyway, I've agreed to do um, some series of um, lives for Cake Flicks. But I did say to Cake Flicks, I'm not a professional. And Paul and David were really very good. And I said, would you be happy for me to do baking? So, you know, using our icing sugars. So would you be happy if I did baking of the icing sugars on cake flakes? That would be a good idea, wouldn't it? Well, I think so. so. A bit like I'll I'll wait the to the answers to come through, but I, yeah. I think it's a good idea because everyone loves it. Everyone, everyone's got different ways of baking and it's just nice to see, you know, them all come together. Well, I thought what I would show you is, I'll just go to the front camera. I thought on the next cake flicks um, session, I've done it before many times, but do a banana and salted caramel cake 
and show you how to make the salted caramel as well, the salted caramel sauce. So we'll use our salted caramel flavoured icing sugars, we'll use our banana icing sugar, and then we'll make some caramel sauce. And I thought maybe I could do that on cake flakes. Now I will have to have some of it ready. So what I will have to, I'll have to have the sponges ready, but then I can quickly show you how to make the mix, the cake mix. And then I'll have some sauce ready, but then I'll quickly show you how to make the sauce and then we'll just have to decorate it and just drizzle it. Something really very simple but tasty. And the banana and, so, the banana and salty caramel flavoured icing sugars together are brilliant. They think it's a fab idea. Yeah, good. Oh, yeah, that's, that's good. good. That's great, but to be yeah. fair, when I spoke to Paul, he was quite happy with that because he said there's nobody baking on there. They're all doing artistic things. But I was a bit concerned because I thought, well, I'm just not arty farty, am I? What am I going to do? So, uh, you know, there we go. So I think that's it actually. Absolutely lovely. So we could muck about here and we could put some leaves and berries on here if we wanted to. Uh, let me just see, we can do a little mound here. So if we did this little mound there. I like that idea, banana and salted caramel. Yeah, do you want me to do that on the amazing. next Cake Flicks Live? Because I've got to record it this week. And then, oh, and the other thing is, my pre-loves group is doing very well. But I've said I'll do a live every Wednesday, but I, I'm being ridiculous. There's just no way we can do every Wednesday. Karen's like, we've got to pack up that lot, get that sorted out, and then get the next lot. So we're not going to do this Wednesday, but we're going to do next Wednesday. And I think there's lots of you have put in bids and I've not responded. The reason I've not responded is because I'm just waiting till all the bids come in. And I'll be putting those bids off tomorrow. And then I'll be responding back sometime tomorrow. Probably be tomorrow night. Because I generally work till late in the night. And I'll let you know if you've won them. We'll get those packed up, sent off. We'll get the other stuff um, there available as well. And um, and then I think we'll, rather than do tea sets next time, I think we'll do some crystal. I've already had some bids on crystals. So I might be getting an email tomorrow. Let's mix it up. Yeah. So um, let's do that one there. How much butter cream have we got in here? So a bit tight this one. You're doing the injection method. Yeah. When you get to the bottom, you have to do the injection method, and it's really challenging on a rolling uh, on a rolling <laughs> turntable. <laughs> Today. I, I like that, I think you've already gone now, and then it turned around while I was doing something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really challenging, isn't it? Oh, we have another gentleman. Hello, Craig. A big hello from Scotland. Oh, is that Craig who I was talking to today? Craig Steele. Oh, I don't know. No. Maybe not. Hi, Craig. I've been talking to a salesman, Paul Craig. I don't actually know what his surname is. He's from Scotland. Right there, so you could just do that on the side. I think that's quite nice, isn't it's it? Lovely, that. Yeah, well, I think we're done there. I don't think we need to do any more, do we? Yeah, yeah, that'll do. Does that look all right? That is absolutely stunning. Simple cake, isn't it? So what you do is you get a mate to bake your cakes for you. <laughs> Get a mate to bake a cake on two cakes on Friday, two on Monday, and then you can make the buttercream, slap it all together, bam, out, here. Yeah. So, there we go. Don't no forget Karen coat in it. <laughs> yeah, Karen Crumcoat in it. No need for sharp edges or anything like that no. with nifty nuzzles. That's what we love about them. So Absolutely. that's a great thing. So um, what time is it? Thank you. Should we sit and have a chat? We've only been going 50 minutes, uh, an hour and 10 minutes. What would like to have a chat about? Oh, could you, up a could you show me only, please? Yeah. Yeah. Is it the extra large nozzle? It's yeah. the extra large nozzle that she's struggling with, yes. Right, okay. Let me just get a clean one out. Well, I think our lads and lasses in blue are going to love that cake. Yeah. There's my nozzle box, ladies. <laughs> You want to see my nozzle? Shall I show you how the nozzle started? Shall I tell you about oh, how they big, started? Get the big one out. Should we get the big one out? Yeah. Is it your prototypes? Yeah. While we're talking a nozzle. Because I'm still looking for an icing bag big enough to put that little one in. <laughs> <laughs> well, there they are. There they are all set yeah. out. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> you need these nozzles, don't you? So, so as I say, it's Michelle, we, it's a group, we're, we're a good team, aren't we? We all yeah. work together. So the nozzles are called Russian nozzles, and the reason they're called that is because the Chinese didn't know what to call them when they copied them. 
um, as, China, as you know, China copies everything. And um, anyhow, the, the guy who actually designed them all is a gentleman called Alexander Lebedev. And he is um, from Russia, believe it or not. So hence where the name came from. And then well, I don't actually know the whole story because of the language. But basically, from what I can gather, they had... <laughs> he loses they had, a lot in translation. Yeah, he loses <laughs> a lot in translation, yeah. But basically, I think it was a can of Coke or something like that. But um, they were playing with the lid of that. You know, like men do, they fiddle with things, don't they? So they were fiddling with something like that. And he was pushing a nail through it. Now, I get the understanding it was either him or his wife who suddenly thought, oh, what if you put, they call it pastry cream. If they press it through, what would it look like? So it was, that's basically the story, really, how it came about. And then they got a little bit more refined. And then, and he is in the steel business. And then he thought, right, I'll make a nozzle. And uh, when we make a nozzle, <laughs> so this is when we sent our designs to him. When Alexander sent them back to us the first time, you can't believe this, so that we can see the design, become this big. <laughs> These are the prototypes. And like this, we've got loads of designs. They're all registered as well. So they're all registered. And in fact, the Chinese have been on our been on our registration and they've actually started copying these, even though we've never sold them ourselves, which is really naughty of them. There's some beautiful designs. Look at them. So there's some beautiful designs there. So these are, these are how they come. And um, we did a dove. So we did a dove, we've done a butterfly. I thought I'd show you these because it's good for you to see. Look, we did a snowman. And some of them work, some of them don't. But you know, the Chinese, like they, um, and I'm not just going about Chinese copiers, what they do is they steal your designs, they steal your intellectual property rights, and then they just go off and copy them and don't really care. And then that's what, that's what happened. That's the, that was the first Christmas tree. So you can see the first Christmas tree there. But all these are like the first designs when they first came out. So when we send a design in, these are all Laura's designs, by the way. Right, just a minute, my face is running. Just hold on a second. They are, they are huge. You wouldn't use them. It's just no, a great yeah, no, you don't, use, you don't these. use them. I have used them because I want to see what they were like. I have used them, but you wouldn't use these. These are just so that when he's playing with them on the machine, um, he cuts them out for us and then send them to him. But these are all Laura's designs. My daughter, Laura, she designed all these. And, um, but that's how they come, anyhow. Um, but obviously the, the, the original ones were Alexander did them first. And the ones that he did, I think I just had one here. So when they first come, we got the overhead there. Yeah. So can you see how they're solder? Solder there. I don't know if you can see the soldering inside. Can you see the soldering inside there? No. No. Well, you can see, anyhow, they're soldered. So he made this um, steel tube and then he cut the top out there and then he soldered them. And that's, if it goes to the front camera, that was how the original nifty nozzles come. So when Alexander first made them, that was how they originally were. And then um, he started then change them to this type. So it's smoother, which is brilliant. It's much better. And then when we got talking to him, which is when he was doing this type, um, for him to do a sample for us, he just I think it just must be easy when he's doing a sample. He cuts them out on big ones like this. But they are funny. And uh, John said to me, really, we're not sending them out. Our nozzles are. We're like, no, they're just samples of all our designs on. So we've got loads of beautiful designs in here. Look, look at that. But they're all lovely designs. Anyhow, those are all ours. So anyhow, let's get back to the story. I don't know whether you're interested in knowing about that. Some people are interested in knowing and some people aren't. Maria says, can you have a nifty nozzle party like Tupperware? <laughs> <laughs> but anyhow, but I keep these because they're like yeah. memories, aren't they? So it's how it all started, isn't it? So um, you wouldn't use them. But anyhow, they're all registered and they're all registered in mine and Alexander's name. And then, um, so you want to bag up a nozzle. Oh, we did love hearts. So they are, there's the love hearts. There's the duck. I don't really can see them there with the sound tree up chiming. The, the bunny rabbit, that was the rabbit. The love heart. Oh, we had loads of them. Um, so you, whenever you see them now, and you see them and you think, you know what, they've stolen Carol's designs then. That way. That way. They've stolen Carol's designs. There's loads of them. We've got loads of them. So, um, so, but that's what people do, unfortunately. And some people don't really care about it. Some people do care. In fact, when people are educated, they do care. Because I always say, you know, if your daughter or son invested in a project and your next door neighbor stole the idea, you wouldn't be very happy, would you? Now, when it comes to intellectual property rights, you can only have intellectual property rights on a product. And copyright is for written. So people get confused. So if you write a poem or a book, 
um, or a story, that's copyright and photos, uh, copyrights for music as well. Um, and intellectual, product right, intellectual property rights is actually for something physically made like that. If it's a recipe, there's no intellectual property rights, unfortunately. And there's no, um, there's, you know, because recipes can be tweaked, can't they? You've only got to change it a little bit and there you go, different recipe, that's all it's about. So, uh, and that's, that's why they're not there. But anyhow, I'm waffling. So we want to cut a bag, don't we? Jane, Jane McDougall. Yes. The Nifty Nuzzles are Carol's Gardening Blue. No weeding, <laughs> no miracle are required, just girl flower power and green fingered piping skills. <laughs> She's so good, isn't she? <laughs> so let me get some bags out, okay? So with all the bags, with all the bags, so we're going to have to go for the extra large one. Whenever you get the nozzles, always wash them out as well. If you don't wash them out straight away, you might end up with like a black residual. And Simon knows the words. What's the, what is it when they've been doing the machinery? It's the, um, what is it when it's spun around that oil thing that ends up being inside the nozzles? Um, you said it the other day, what the word was. Yeah. yeah. I don't, I don't know. know. Always wash all your nozzles first. Make sure they're washed. And you might have to wash them one or two times. And the best thing to do is get yourself a dishcloth in and really give them a good wipe round. But anyhow, so we've got the nozzle there. This is the extra large. Let me find my scissors. Let me find the scissors there. Right, can we are we over the are we over there, Simon? Yeah, hang on, I'll um what I'll do is I'll I'll, I'll turn you around so you can oh, see. Oh I can see. Right, okay. So what we need to do then is you take the scissors right to the end of the bag. Just give it a little score. That's all you're going to do. And it's always the best to cut above that score, not below. So I think you can see it there now. So you can cut there. And then just make sure you cut straight across. Not at an angle, straight. Don't go that way or that way. And then push your nozzle down. And there you go. And that's it. And that's perfect that. You'll get this little divot here where you just cut in and that would be the same that side. That would be perfect. But what I did on the red one here, I think you can see it in the bag there. So can you see the two sides of colours? So the underneath the bag there is the original cut and then I dropped it into a second bag just to make sure it had that extra strength because I reckon if I pushed it on there I would have actually pushed it, pushed the nozzle out of the bag and you don't want to do that, really. Yeah? So any other questions? No, they're, they're just, no, they're, good. They're, they're, they absolutely love that cake, yeah. I think it's so good. Good. And um, yes to your cake flicks baking, they'd love you yes. to do that. So should we do that then? So we'll film that this week and I'll find out when it's going to go out. I'll speak to Paul tomorrow and um, see whether it's going to be on this weekend or next weekend. Uh, what slots he's got available and we'll get that on. Just one more question from Amanda Davis. What buttercream would you use through the larger nozzles? Exactly the same, what I made before. So um, don't use the Swiss meringue buttercream at the moment. I'd rather you got used to using Swiss meringue buttercream. The Swiss meringue buttercream is beautiful for the nozzles, but you just need to firm it up a little bit. So once it's been in the bowl there, just pop the nozzles in the fridge for a little bit for the Swiss meringue buttercream, because it's really very, very soft. So I would fill my piping bags up and put them in the fridge and then squeeze. Whereas with the buttercream, you need it soft. Uh, you need it soft, you don't want it firmed up because then it, then it just, it doesn't break nicely. Anything else? That's it. Debbie said, was it, was it turning oil you were thinking about for the nozzles on that machine? Yeah, it's what you turning, said, turning, turning oil. oil. I don't know, it's something, know. but something it's like anyhow, it's whenever yeah. they make it, it's like anything with stain with steel, when they're making it, it'll always have a residual, so, and you should always wash everything when you buy it new, anyhow, if you're going to use it for your food things, but some people don't, and then they phone, they message me and say it's got all black on it, so should have washed it a few times in hot soapy water and give them a good wipe out yeah so that's us done so what have we got going on this week it's monday isn't it it is we've got um what are we doing? danielle tomorrow night is yes it? so it's danielle crouch tomorrow night at eight o'clock so she'll be great fun for another 1900 viewers how many did we reach <laughs> <Karen>? <laughs> 480 at one point okay so, and then um, on Wednesday, I'm in the Cupcake Bouquet class and I'm doing a bonus class in there. I'm not actually, I, I probably will do it into a bouquet, but it's, we're not actually having a bouquet class. We're just doing all white flowers. So any of the new members who haven't done a class in there, if you want to join us at half past 11, it's a two hour session and it's just a little bonus class and lots of the ladies who've been members are quite happy to join us. And all we're going to do there is you're going to choose your own nozzles. I'll come into the group and leave a message. 
but you're just going to choose your own nozzles and we're going to do everything white and I think that will look really very pretty. Um, and then on Thursday morning, we've got Tracy Mann. Tracy Mann's got a new offer for a new class. She's going to put it live available. She's going to do a discount on it on um, Thursday morning. She sent me the picture. It looks fantastic. So expect an email from John with that. Um, Thursday night, Laura, my daughter, is in the kitchen. She's going to make chocolate brownies and... Um, She's making something with whipping it up, but I can't remember what it is. <laughs> Does it matter? You got me a chocolate brownie. Well, she's going to make chocolate brownies, and then on Friday, it's you, isn't it, it Karen? Is me. Yes. Yeah. And then, and then we're back round again next week. Then we've got Georgie in the kitchen doing her class, and then it all goes round again. But it the online yeah. classes, let me just tell you how they work, okay? They're brilliant. So we have a tutor for each class. And that tutor will do a minimum of three classes, okay? So for your £60, basically, you're paying £20 a class. If you're coming in halfway, you've already missed a class, you can watch the last one. It's very easy to watch. And I do advise some of you to watch it and then come back and do it. Um, and lots of people do do that and they like it. But when you're watching the class, you do feel that you are part of it. Even though you've watched it a day or two later or a week later or whatever, because of the banter and everything else that's going on in there, you do actually still feel that class, that class. you don't feel as though you're on your own trying to solve it. And you'll usually have a question that pops in your mind and you know what, somebody's already asked a question and Karen's answered it. The filming for that's different, it's a lot more close up, a lot more different action than what we do here. So you get to see everything nice and close. So those are great value classes. Providing they keep selling, the tutors will keep coming back doing more classes. But I had to put a little cap on it just so that because I didn't want to say you know you're going to do a class every week or every month and then people don't join uh, with COVID-19 obviously the classes have been very busy but when everybody goes back to work it's going to calm down a bit so I just wanted to put that free class on uh, free classes on minimum and then if there's any more that's because more members are joining um, for my own classes well they're being done here so it's no skin off my nose to actually just keep popping in doing a class in the um in my classes every month and obviously i'm quite happy to come in and throw a little bonus class in just to keep you all on your toes and show you something different so i've got two classes on the on the website and um, do have a look at those and like i said we've got the cake illusionist molly robbins and georgie godbold and hector and his flowers and hector's flowers are amazing he's using a paste called flexible paste and you make it yourself and uh, quite a lot of the ladies have made it. And if you ask uh, Sharon Norris and Irish Shuttleworth, and I think it's a lady called Alex in there who's been using it, and they have made fantastic flowers. And, and, and um, I was talking to Sharon by email yesterday, and one of the flowers she made is still flexible three weeks on, which is amazing. Mum's is. I mean, the mum was showing me on Saturday, you know, through the window and that. Yeah. She, uh, to, she poked it through the door so I could feel the flowers. Yeah. And it's brilliant. Yeah, amazing. absolutely lovely stuff. And uh, you should think about those. What we're doing with those class, there's a big class, um, which is a £200 class, but I think you get seven or eight flowers in there. And they're not done by lives. The reason they're not done by lives, you'd be there all day because you've got to wait for things to dry. So, but Hector is going to come in and start doing small, like two hour sessions in there as from July. He's just got a lot on at the moment. And plus he lives in Mexico as well. So we've got to sort out the time, time difference for him. But everything's pre-recorded in there. So you can actually come back to it, go back. And uh, the feedback is, is that his, um, his, his explanations are very clear. And, um, and the good thing is you can just rewind it back and listen again if you want to. Um, but the big class is £200. But I put all the classes in as individual flowers because lots of people said could they pay in payments. Well, it gets a little bit confusing in the office for that. So I put all the classes in individual flowers. But as soon as you've bought four flowers, all you've got to do is message me. And it'd be your responsibility to do it. It won't be mine. Okay, but you message me and go, Carol, I bought my fourth class. Can I go into the big class? And then you get moved straight into the big class. And, and that's great then, isn't it? it? Makes it's great for everybody. Yeah. These online classes. This is the. This is going to be for quite a while now, isn't it? Um, yeah, we intend to do them. I think it's the way forward for sugar and crumbs. Definitely yes. the way forward for us. And um, I saw a comment on the page that the lady said, "Oh no, I want to be in your kitchen with you, Carol," and which is really flattering. But I wrote back and I said, I don't really think that's going to be the case because we don't really have the space here. And the online classes have just worked so well. And it was amazing how many ladies jumped in and said, I think you should look at the online because it's actually really very clear. You do get to see everything. And it's a bit more like a one-to-one, -one. even though you hear Simon and Karen in the kitchen and they're giving feedback because of the close-up and what you can see, it is really like a one-to-one. -one. And not only that, you've got it then. 
you can go back to it whenever you want. And like I say, with my cupcake bouquet class now, I'm on to class four, plus the minis, plus what I'm gonna do on Wednesday. So massive value. So those people who paid, um, they started off at 50 pound, but they're 60 pound, but let's 60 pound now. But let's say you paid 60 pound class four, you're now down to 15 pound a class, plus you've had two free sessions. Once you get onto your fifth class, you're down to what is it, 1250? Yeah. What is it? Yeah. You know, I mean, you can't moan at that, can you? It keeps going. And I'll especially be doing mine you, every month. Especially you've got them for life. Yeah, exactly. And I'll be doing mine every month. So yeah. it's bonus, 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 isn't it? Yeah. Right. Okay. And those people who paid 50 quid, they've paid a, a really 10 pound a yeah, class. Absolutely. So, you know, so it gets cheaper and cheaper. Uh, the Bush Green Flowers one, we'll be doing 30 plus flowers there. That's £2.50 a class when you look at that. So you can't moan at that, but it's time you do that. And then we've got a big project at the end, which will be great for a nice prize. Right. A night out with Simon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're paying. <laughs> Do I win a night out? <laughs> <laughs> you want a night out with one of our ladies, Simon, and they're paying. Brilliant. <laughs> right, I think that's us done then. Oh, Does don't anybody... forget to like and share. Yes, don't forget to like and share. What are you, so, what are we giving away today? £25 voucher, or they can have six bags of icing sugar, and that can be a combination of icing sugar and whipping it up entirely up to you. So you can choose um, six of those. So either six of those, or you can have a £25 voucher. Um, is there any more questions, Karen, that we need to answer? No, I'm just going through them quickly now. Yeah. And that's a good idea with the Ziploc bags, isn't it? Putting them in. Oh. Oops. That's a good idea, just putting them in the Ziploc bags and then just leaving them in the fridge like that. Really very easy. And they'll stay like that for a couple of weeks. Or you can just put them in the freezer like that as well. Make sure you take all the air out, though, first. So, uh, there you go. Right, that's us Brilliant. done. Absolutely. Yeah. Super duper. And I hope you like the new method for whipping it up. If you do order whipping it up, it's got the label on with the old method, but I'm going to get Laura to print off a sheet tomorrow and it will staple to your invoice, the new method. And I'm having the new back labels reprinted. So it'll probably take a month before the new labels start coming out. But um, at least if that's stapled to your invoice as from tomorrow, at least you've got the new method then. Yeah, super. Right, that's it. So should we, should we go and finish off these macarons, Carol? Absolutely. What are they called? Macarons and macaroons. 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 So we're going to go and chocolate dip. We're going to finish all those off between us now. Yeah, but um, <laughs> one thing from Tracy Scrivens. We're not doing a Molly Robbins doggy cupcake bundle, are we? We're not doing no, bundles. No. no, I'm going to try and avoid doing bundles. I've got to be honest. I thought it was a good idea to do the bundles, but um, to be fair, it's just proven to be a nightmare, mainly for me sourcing stuff, and then people have stuff, and, and to be fair, the tutors at the last minute come back and tell me about something else that they need, and I think the best thing I do is I put the list on, and then you can go and buy it from whichever supplier you want to buy it from, hopefully us, but um, so I'm just doing the Georgie bundle, and then that's it, there's no more bundles. The only bundles will be for my Cupcake Bouquet bundle. So then you can source your own. And it's like for my flowers bundle, you can source the nozzles yourself from us or from Amazon. You may already have the nozzles. So many people got so many nozzles already. Um, and it's not Russian nozzles, the buttercream flowers, by the way. Um, it will be all with Wilton tips and PME tips. Yeah, and gem tips. Good. Right, that's it. That's it. So thank you very much for joining us. Yeah, thank you very much. And we'll see you with Danielle tomorrow at 8 o'clock. And us in the bouquet class on Wednesday. Back with me on Thursday. No, Laura on Thursday. Thursday. Back with you on back Friday. Friday. <laughs> oh, we're so busy. Thanks for joining and us. And always with me. Oh, and always with Simon. He's always here. <laughs> and he's won a date. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, 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 it's not for a while yet, Simon. Don't get lucky. We've got 30 it? weeks to go. Starting Thir from July. 30 weeks? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. right, come on, turn the camera off. We've got to clean up us. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye.